guys. Okay, Maria Grace. She's M. Grace on the comments down below. She said a statement. She's been in, um, she's got a, I guess Italian, right? Italian, Italian family from South America, Argentina, I believe. Anyway, and now she lives in the United States. And, uh, so she's got quite a history. Quite a history. And she has been in the game for a long time. And I'll read her statement, and then you'll understand. Uh, she's been playing the game since, for a very long time. She's been into tarot, angels, um... When she was young, her grandmother taught her how to heal headaches, stomach problems, parasites, shingles, etc. She has been doing all of that for years and years, and it works. She says, the thing is, I feel like I'm still playing with the pigeons. Friends call me all the time to do the job and, and heal, but I'm changing my methodology since I have another point of view now. Is there, in higher realms, the energy of Emmanuel? Okay, yeah, stay away from Emmanuel. He's fourth dimension altogether, so, yeah. The being that is playing the role of Emmanuel in 4D has a higher self that is outside the game who you can hang to, but you don't want to call on um, any Emmanuel at all. That is, uh, he's very pigeon. Very, very pigeon. Um, she says... I am using the original ritual, Grandma told me, but changing the energy and redirect to 5D friends. Don't redirect to 5D friends. 5D friends will not help you. No one, no thi nothing in 5D will send energy across the line from 5D to 4D at all. At all. Now, you can absolutely call on your pub friends... And your pub friends are outside of the game altogether. They're not in the fifth dimension. They're outside of the game altogether. So let me be clear, guys. When you get to 5D, your pub friends will not be there. Your pub friends are outside of the game altogether. They are your support system while you were in the game, no matter what dimension you're on. They are your your assistants, your, your, they support your higher self in running the show while you're in the game because this is a very, very complex game. So your pub friends are not in 5D. They are outside the game. When you die or go to 5D high enough that you can just leave the game voluntarily, then you will re be reunited with your pub friends, but not until then. They are not in 5D. Also, do not request help from 5D. And really, Grace, at this point, you can use the... the... the way that you did the rituals, the way that you were taught them, but don't call on anybody. You can use your own energy and the energy of whoever you're healing. At this point, what you want to be doing is you don't want to be healing anybody. What you want to be doing is, if you're going to do anything, show them how you can heal yourself. Share that knowledge. Because you want people to start drawing on their own energy to do their own healing. You don't want to be doing healing on anybody else. If you are assisting them in any way, temporarily, it should be a temporary fix. There should be an understanding so you don't get caught up in their vibrations energetically there's going to be an understanding that this is a temporary assistance but follow that up with either an energetic message that says hey you don't need me you can do this yourself so energetically meditatively in your head send them that message when you're assisting them that i will help you with your headache or your stomach problems or whatever this time but this is how it's done I want you to I want you to learn how to do it. The best thing that you can do now is to share everybody share what you've got so that everybody can pick up a little piece of the puzzle. 
um, and understand that we're all different pieces of the puzzle and we're missing different pieces. We're going to be looking for different pieces. They're going to fit in different ways for everybody. So this whole believe it my way or the highway thing needs to be gone because there will be things that I say that will trigger you that if that somebody else standing next to you might hear what I say, it might trigger them to go down in vibration. So you need to stay in the flow. You'll hear what you need to hear. And from a energetic healing standpoint, um, really you're better served not to do it at all. You're better served, um, Maria, to Maria, there, Maria. You're better served, Maria, to instead visualize a world where nobody needs healing. That will take you a t to a timeline where you will that will be much better, that will get you to 5D faster. Um, if somebody is in having a headache or whatever, they wanted to have that headache or whatever, okay, for their own reasons. Now, you can go to a timeline where you assist them, and that's fine, but it will keep you at that vibration. You do have to lower a certain amount in order to heal them of that headache so why ever they the reason why they have the headache and there's always a reason why they have a headache you will have to lower your vibration to go in and assist them with the headache and it will lower your vibration it will slow you down you're not going to change the fact that they have headaches only they can change the fact that they have headaches and that's just that that's just the truth of the matter but what you can do is you can as you see people have headaches or get those phone calls visualize that you're not getting the phone calls anymore. Visualize that it's amazing that you look around you and people are happy and healthy. The, the hospitals are closing in mass. People just don't seem to be getting sick anymore. That's what you want to see. That's what you want to spend your time at. Not on healing other people. That keeps you in timelines where people need to be healed. And to get to 5D, you want to visualize that people don't need anything that people don't need anything, that they flow one in nature, that they don't need anything. And that means they don't need your help to get a headache gone. They don't need a doctor. They don't need a pill. They don't need anything. That is what will suit you best with your new, you know, I know, I know her, by the way, guys, I know her. Um, I have been in her presence and great, great fun, by the way. Love her kids as well. She has great, great, great kids. So I know her. This is a message. That message is specific to Maria, but Maria, that's better. But it also can be true to others, but not necessarily. It depends upon what is right for you. I happen to know her, and I know that she would be best served to go with the whole uh, everybody's healed thing. She's entirely capable of, of visualizing that and going to those timelines. And she probably will get to 5D before me. Uh, I, I would be surprised if she doesn't. Really, really surprised. Okay, so hopefully, Maria, that it answers your question. I hope. I love you guys so much. Uh, be sure to subscribe and thumbs up. Thank you so much for your support. I'm up to $25 from YouTube. Yay! <laughs> I, you never know. It could, it could like go up and up and up and I could make enough money to you know pay for the gas on our trips so uh yeah stick with me on that I love you guys huge hugs see you later bye